Well, what could have been a big night for Republican voters in Pennsylvania has now lost some of its draw. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Evan Forrester. Three of the top Republican candidates running for the U.S. Senate seat are skipping a GOP primary debate tonight at Villanova University. Fox 43's Harry Lee explains how that could affect the choices of primary voters. With the race to represent Pennsylvania in the U.S. Senate starting to heat up, Monday night's debate was supposed to showcase how the GOP candidates stack up. In the primaries, they can really make a difference in terms of differentiating candidates among the voters. I'll fight for them. But after television personality, Dr. Mehmet Oz's campaign said he had a scheduling conflict, two more candidates pulled out at the 11th hour. Hedge fund executive David McCormick and former U.S. ambassador to Denmark, Carlos Sands. A Trafalgar Group poll says the three are leading the polls. So why would they skip the debate? Political analysts say it comes down to what they have to lose. Debates can cause awkward moments, right? You put people up on stage, they're interacting with one another. They're subject to follow up questions from a moderator or from other candidates. And it's a lot less control. The candidates have a lot less control over their message in that environment. That means front runners are more likely to stick to other channels like TV ads and social media posts. But when you don't show up, you're ceding the floor to those who do. If a candidate really stands out, um, and there are fewer of them on the stage and there's more time for each candidate, they can really shine. And before you know it, they're really rising in the polls. Still in the debate, political commentator Kathy Barnett, real estate developer Jeff Bartos, attorney George Paquetto, and businessman Everett Stern. They'll probably take aim at the missing candidates. The folks that are there will take any opportunity they have to say, Part of being a senator is representing the people, and one way to represent the people is to show up at these kinds of events. McCormick's and Oz's campaigns both sent statements to Fox 43 saying they want to debate each other. Pennsylvania Republicans are still waiting to hear what they have to say. Harry Lee, Fox 43 News.